Yo, what's going on YouTube and welcome back to another video for The Division. Another Division podcast released this week and as is always the way, whilst hearing from the developers, we also, more often than not, get some nice new information. And this week was no different. This week's podcast focused on characters, progression and customization. So let's get started. If you guys do enjoy this video, then a like would be really appreciated and be sure to subscribe if you're not already for all the latest Division news. Now to begin with, one of the first topics of conversation in this podcast was character customization. We've seen the multi-layered customization options before from a previous video. The ability to have multiple pieces per slot, for example a chest piece which may have like an underlying layer with a jacket on top and maybe a holster as well, or something like that. Well this is still very much present, and is a great way to allow customization. The cool thing is, you're free to toggle certain items on and off. So you might decide you want to have the sort of juggernaut look with as many layers as possible, or you might want a more streamlined look and you might turn off a lot of the things on top. The important thing to differentiate is that loot and customization falls into two main categories, stat based stuff and cosmetic items. Stat based stuff will of course improve you as a character and ultimately mean you're more viable or more of a threat depending on the activity. However on top of that you also have cosmetic slots. Cosmetic items are purely that, cosmetic, and they have no effect on your stats whatsoever. So if you find a cosmetic item right at the beginning of the game and you really like the way it looks, then you can keep that all the way up until the end game if you really want to, because being a cosmetic item means that it will not affect your stats in any way. Now, moving on to the community Q&A, there were some more questions from the community this week and there was even one from me right at the end. So the first question was, what plans do you have when the user reaches the max level, i.e. end game content? And while they weren't really ready to go into detail just yet, the short answer is that there will be lots of stuff to do when you hit the max level with regards to end game content. Next up, it was asked whether or not we'd be able to alter our appearance once we created our characters, like changing hair, beards, etc. And the answer to that is no. It doesn't really suit an apocalyptic setting very well if you kind of just pop into the barbers and get a quick haircut. However, you do have multiple characters, so you do get some variety like that, but ultimately, once you make your character at the start of the game, the only customization you'll be doing is your gear and your weapons. The next question revolves around skills and the ability to change them on the fly. And the answer to that is yes, yes you can. If you're in the heat of battle, while it's not advised and you could get shot, you can still open up your menu and swap skills there and then. Someone also asked what sort of skills are available for those people that like playing tank. And one of the main ones they spoke about was the riot shield. This allows you to pull out a riot shield and use your sidearm to shoot with. One of the cool things about this is by having the riot shield out, it also naturally aggroes enemies. So if you did want to be a tank, so to speak, then this is how you do it. Obviously the shield is not invincible, so you do still need to be careful. Next up was a question about the backpacks or the go bags. Do different bags allow you to carry more items? And in short, yes they do. Finally, the question from yours truly, I asked, is there going to be extensive beard customization? <laughs> and the answer to that is that there are facial hair options. You might not be getting any Gandalf beards or any kind of finely tuned hipster and perfectly trimmed beards, but there will be beards. Probably more in tune with say being in an apocalyptic setting and not having a haircut or shaving your face. But either way, yes, there are beards. And that's it. That is your news for this week. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. And if you do want to listen to the full podcast for yourself, then you can find a link to that in the description box down below. It's definitely worth listening to because in this video, I just focus on the kind of core details, but there is always some more stuff spoken about. Thanks again for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.